Killing Floor 2 is a co-op horde shooter where you shoot Zeds, get money, and then get big gun. It is also the one game where you can't kill the floor. Why won't you die? I had first played this game at around the summer of 2017, but then I had dropped it at around July 12, 2020. Around that time, the game had first added in the DLC weapons, and it's when the game had first initially dropped its free sale on the Epic Games Store. Okay, Gunslinger, you need to get healed, because if you're not healed, how else are you gonna fight, my dude? Dude, I swear I'm just like shooting him and it's just not even... Did it lag? Now, all of this sounds eerily familiar to another cult classic co-op shooter that had gotten released on the Epic Games Store. Anyways, I decided to give Killing Floor 2 a second chance, since it was my second most played game on Steam. And really, I was just bored. Oh my god, I almost just flicked onto that thing. Wait a minute, this isn't the actual nail gun. Oh, but this thing shreds. Ooh, no, this is 100% where I die. What the? It was a lot more useful 10 years ago. But here we are. Dude, I'm just... Bro, how am I not dead? <laughs> Bruh, this drone is doing too much work. How many drones are there? You can upgrade the drone? What the fuck is this loadout? Oh, oh sh- Haha, funny shotgun go do attention to me, noob. No you're not. Oh, that thing shreds. Oh my god, this thing is gas! <laughs> what the hell? Stay away from me. Tap this point. I'm literally killing the floor right now. What the hell? Our other support died! That man got single the fuck out. Oh no, he's coming for me! The game heard me talking shit! <laughs> oh no! We're not gonna be able to... This is such a shitty map! If you die, you literally can't buy anything from the trader. I was about to say, if I was lagging out, I would've... Cried. No! No, 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 no! That man just 360 for me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! He's on my ass! He's on my ass! He's on my ass! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! He's still chasing after me! Oh, there are a bunch of Epic Game Store players. Oh no. How did they manage to get inside this match? How did he even manage to load up the game? What the fuck? Man, what the hell is this man? He- He really did just miss all of his shots on frozen enemies! Oh, that's the entire horde. Let me just deal with the- What is this motherfucker doing? Let me deal with the scrape! God! Molotov out. What the? Somebody pissed off the screen. You're not a little guy. I am a little guy. You're scaring the hose. Way 
This MF pissed off the Scrake again? I have never seen a team actually try to get me killed and then fail. Alright. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Oh no, it's coming for me. It's coming! <laughs> oh no, this is where I die. Oh, that's three of them! <laughs> <laughs> now he knows how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's so chover. Whoops. Sap was not medicine. Oh, that is an angle. <laughs> that, that drone has quite the angle on the fucking Zeds. That is from my big brain to yours. <laughs> Hurry up! I'm gonna take my time. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I was about to say if that man initiated a kick because no heals for you. Lol. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep you walking in. Oh, this man is legit serious about not healing me. Lamau. He's praying that I fucking get no heals. Oh well. Go heal your teammates. Lol. Oh, he's not even healing. Yep. Ow. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, all of our power classes are dead. We still had a scrake in the back. Damn, quarter pounders don't even stand a chance. I'm surprised that I haven't even seen one flesh pound. That's gotta be a sign that the last one's gonna be king flesh pound, isn't it? I knew it! I called it! It was a king flesh pound! Oh, he got sniped out! Eventually on my misadventures, I'd stumble upon the HRG Locust. Now, I was reluctant to use the HRG weapons, especially when they had initially dropped, since they were arguably just worse reskins. But, after hearing about how absurdly overpowered the Locust was, I decided to give it a go. Little did I know, it was... Oh my god, this thing literally clears. Boo! It's so broken! Now, the Locust may seem overpowered, especially from what you just witnessed, but KF2 eventually dropped an update to nerf the Locust. And a lot of people overreacted and said it was just not worth using anymore. But, I'd say it still has a decent spot being able to clear whores of trash, even with the nerfs. Well, at least I'm not completely, entirely deleting everything. But, um... <laughs> oh damn, there could only be one survivalist. Air shot! Now, the Locust it isn't as overpowered as literally the best trash clear of KF2, the Firebug. Completely whiffs. You know what? Fuck off, Featherface. What is that pee? He shoots, he kills! Huh? Bro, now I literally have no purpose. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, Spitfires. You're too kind. Cheers. <laughs> Actually trolling right now. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, oh my god! You got ways to kill! This 
is so fucking stupid. He left! He left because of me! Hang on, you flip it! Just uh let me top Well then Scrakes would actually have been a problem. Oh you know what? Because I got this, I can just mow down. I'm out. <laughs> this is Shark Tank now. Oh, yep, no, totally not overpowered. I can literally just clear a whole corridor doing this. Like, whatever is there is dead. Now, this just feels like I'm complaining about OP things in a PvE setting, but in reality, I don't mind the overpowered stuff in Killing Floor 2. I enjoy the Frostfang on Survivalist, for example. But, it's just, why nerf the combat medic, and nerf the berserker, but then make the fire bug and demolitionist as strong perks that you really can't go wrong with. From my brief understanding, most of the problems pro veterans have with the game's balance is mostly because the appeal of the precision gameplay of the commando, gunslinger, and sharpshooter all got replaced with what people have referred to as the spam meta. As the demo, firebug, and survivalist all have weapons that are really good for dishing out a lot of damage and it makes it hard for sharpshooter and gunslingers to do their jobs with zeds jumping all around over the place and even worse they've probably already eliminated all of the big zeds and trash to begin with so it makes no sense to me why they would nerf the berserker or medic since they weren't even a part of the problem to begin with but then you also realize how the said community of players that complained about the spam meta have all branched off into their own servers with the control difficulty mod and banning firebug demo and survivalist in their respective servers to only have the precision perks so now it makes even more or less sense to me why they would make changes to the medic and berserker at all because even in pubs and a controlled group environment they weren't exactly carrying matches easily and making the game boring for others. The only thing I can really think of that I would want to see changed in pubs in particular is giving Sharpshooter a bit more ammo as despite having weapons that they could be using for clearing out trash, they still face the problem of running out of ammo pretty easily, at least on Hell on Earth pubs. However, this doesn't really apply to control difficulty since they make so much money anyway that they just buy multiple versions of that weapon. But it's also worth noting that most of the player base of Killing Floor 2 is on the casual side, which is why I bring up the difference between controlled difficulty and pubs. In pubs, for sure, playing sharpshooter is extremely tough, and the lack of ammo doesn't help. It overall just makes a player feel useless, and thus they just end up not having fun because now, why have any precision gameplay when you can just spam to win? However, with the squad, Sharpshooter is actually really fun to play. But as it stands, since a lot of weapons that help feed into the spam meta have been cropping up left and right, it's safe to say that there might not be any way for a Sharpshooter to have any sort of fun, at least in pubs, where the vast majority of the player base resides in, of course. As a side note, I specifically bring up Sharpshooter for a reason, as Gunslinger and Commando all have weapons that at least aid them in pubs. As Commando, a perk that excels in clearing out trash, has the Foul, which lets them take down Scrakes even more easily, and to an extent, is able to take out Flesh Pounds too. The Gunslinger, on the other hand, is a class that excels in extreme burst damage. However, they got the Glock 18, which lets them clear trash way more efficiently. And I know Sharpshooter has guns that are similar to that, but they run out of ammo rather easily, which is why I suggested an ammo buff. With that, I leave my closure for this game. It's still really fun. I might try to get together with some friends or even try out some control difficulty. But I can understand why veteran players have ended up leaving the game, as on pubs at least, it's not that fun anymore.
My final note is that Killing Floor 2 also hasn't had a good update, maybe in like the past couple of years, as most of the times the new updates are usually one DLC gun, one free weapon, and then a community map. The devs of Killing Floor 2 could have definitely done more with the game, but it's pretty clear that they're not going to add anything else that's interesting like a proper upgrade system or even just a proper objective mode too. Which of course feeds into the issue of why players have left the game recently. And it's quite a tragedy, really. Ah! Oh, Oh well, that ammo would have been more useful on a guy like me. Oh, yeah. I should think. Well, oh, I still... Well, now it's pissed on me, so you better fucking help me out. No, give me the ammo. Oh my god, this man. No, I'm not- This fuck! What is he doing? You're not gonna kill it like that. 